These students are about to get their first look at the Vulcan bomber. No running anywhere. You walk wherever you go, OK? It's an impressive sight, but not as impressive as this. The restored Vulcan's first and only flight so far took place in October. Student sessions like this one are part of its lottery funding deal. I'm chief engineer and crew chief for, for this aircraft. It starts and that's the air flowing through. Oh, that's where, where that's the back end of the jet engine, yeah. The air goes into the wing there. Now Dennis knows almost everything about the Vulcan. Well, every time that anybody comes into this hangar I challenge them to get, find a question I can't answer. And as yet, I've only been beaten once by a six-year-old child. What question was that? What's the decibel level on these engines? I don't know. Large. <laughs> but I have another question Dennis struggles with. When will it fly again? Uh, you'll have to talk to the boss about that, but hopefully next month. You see, it costs about £30,000 an hour to fly this old plane, and Vulcan bosses are now offering advertising space on the plane itself to get a sponsor. We have a, a gentleman who is actually going out talking to the, um, the people in the world who've got money in the hope that they will sponsor the aeroplane. Um, we will give them the, the whole of the Bombay for, an ad, for their advertising. Um, you go, she goes to a big air show, you've got a captive audience of probably two, three hundred thousand people. And she rolls on her side, opens a Bombay and there's the advertising. Advertising in the Bombay? I've got no problem with it. So long as she flies, I don't care uh, who, who, who puts their money on it. She's got to fly. I just, I just want her to fly. So the chase for cash continues, but for now, students like this will just have to enjoy the Vulcan sitting on the ground. Brady Harron, East Midlands Today.